Top man, thanks. Steve, huge congratulations. What a roller coaster we've been through. So God knows how you must feel right now. Over the moon, mate. Uh, seven three up, cruising. And then Mensa slowed it down a little bit. And I played along. Don't do it. Shouldn't do it. I did. Those first two sessions, I think it's the most comfortable I've seen you on a stage in many a years. And that proved your scoring was on point. And do you think that's the best you played on TV for a long time? For two years, yes, definitely. Since the, the last time I played that, I played Michael and I beat him. That's it's just something about this Steve West and the European Championships that brings the best out of you. Just something that's about the Steve West that's in the right place in mind to play his own game. That's what it's about. Were you disappointed with yourself that you got involved in Mensa's pace then towards the end? Absolutely, hundred percent. I shouldn't. I'm seven three upfield. I shouldn't go into any break feeling that I should get close or let him get close to pushing me all the way. I shouldn't. But I did. I played along, and I shouldn't do that. The last leg, the 106, we saw you stop. Were you tempted to go for the travel 20 because of the lie of the first dart? 100%, because I hate 32. I hate it. Anyone that knows me in darts or outside of it knows that I hate double 16. Can't stand it. But I love treble 18. Was that a split decision you made? Because I say, we saw the little pause there. Literally, within one second. Go for the 18s. If you hit 32, you win the match. Game over. And the celebrations, we saw you drop down to your knees. Does that show how much this means to you? It means the world to me. And it means the world to anyone that should stand on that stage. It should, should do. We saw as well, you get a little bit of stick from the crowd. Were you? What was going on out there? In the beginning, look, you've got 250 people out there and they're sitting 20 yards away from you. In the beginning, all I could hear was, man, sir, man, sir. I get it. I understand. But there's like two people shouting every time you throw. It's not right. It puts you off. Moving ahead, quarterfinals. Obviously, at the start of the tournament, I know you want to win it, but does your mindset change now you're in the last eight to not wanting to win it, believing you can win it? No, not at all. I came here believing I could win it, Phil. That's never changed. Peter Wright, the world champion, up next. Thoughts on that game? No problem. Steve, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Steve, many congratulations on the win. I saw a brilliant celebration at the end. Uh, drop down to knees. Are you the most relieved man in Germany right now? I am, because I've got a metal hip and I could get up again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just caught the end of your, your TV interview there. Did you say if you win the title, you would retire? Yes, absolutely, 100%. I'll stop tomorrow. Do you not feel not like you've got... Not because not at all. Just because I'm getting old, man. I'm... I'm I'm getting old. And if I won that big title, I can retire and go, look, do you know what? I achieved something and I'm done. Do you not feel that you've got a lot more to offer the game though still? Probably. Probably. I still get up for work at five o'clock in the morning, every morning, go out in my van and come home at three or four or five in the afternoon. I love doing that. We've seen a few different um, first time TV major finalists and different winners in the past few months, players outside the top 32. Do you look at those players and think, if they're doing it, why can't I do it? Yes, 100%. 100%. I look, anyone who, who comes into this game and is good enough to hold a tour card and, and play, they can win anything. Any one of us. It's not just about the Van Gogh's and the Andersons and the Wrights, Durant as such now. No, it's about 128 people. They're all good enough. I'm just looking ahead to the game against Peter Wright tomorrow. If you can continue that scoring power, you must be like you're in the real chance. You go into that pretty confident. Yeah, Peter Wright doesn't like playing me. He'll tell you that himself, I think. We've had a good few battles, and Peter Wright is Peter Wright. I have all the respect for him because he's a brilliant player, but I'm good enough. If I can play my game, I'm good enough to beat him. Why not? Yeah, brilliant. Thanks a lot, Steve. Well played tonight. You're welcome.